Hello beautiful Libra friends. Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That is me. I'm so happy to have all the Libras in the house, however you resonate with that sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even Jupiter. We are going to do your Career and Finances Tarot spread here on my channel today. This is going to be roughly, roughly, right, from mid-March into mid-April. Uh, take the messages as they present themselves, and ultimately I ask that you apply it in your life only where you see fit, only where it makes sense. Uh, because these are general messages, not everything I say will always be your story. So again, use your own discernment and intuition to know which messages to separate and take away. Um, I want these messages to motivate you, to inspire you, um, to confirm something you want to hear, or the opposite, illuminate you to something new that maybe you didn't see before. Uh, you will always be in the driver's seat of your own life, but I come at these messages with love and positivity, so I'm hoping that that's what you are able to take away here today. That's my general spiel, all good stuff. Um, despite what's going on globally, there's a lot of stress and anxiety in the air and the energies right now. So hopefully this can be a little bit fun, you know, give you some guidance, distract you from what's going on out there if you're kind of at home doing your thing. So let's try and get some positive messages out there for my Libra squad right now. For Libra, what do they need to know about money, career, finances, jobs, internships, retirement, anything that wants to come through for Libra? Everything else you want to know about this video will be written down in the description box below for you if you guys want to check that out. That includes the decks I'm using here today as well as my social media. I'm the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram and .com. I welcome you to check those out if you are interested. And as always, wherever you can like, share, subscribe, that would be most appreciated, including on this channel. That does help me gain traction and momentum here on YouTube and gets those messages out to, to YouTube land, to the YouTube community. All right, Libra, a couple more shuffles, a couple more cards, career, money, and finances for my Libras. One more card for Libra, for my Libra friends. <clears throat> All right, let's do it, Libra. So we're going to start with your energy. Let's see where you're at. So you have some options. <laughs> it's so funny. I was thinking of this card earlier. I was posting something on Instagram. I was like, there's heaviness in the air. What, what messages need to be sent out to people? And this deck is very specific where the Ten of Swords in this deck is literally saying everything is fine. And I feel like that's so appropriate for what's going on uh, just, you know, globally, right? There's a lot of anxiety and fear, as I'm saying. But I actually love that this is coming up in your spread because it is the sword suit. There is something about you, Libra, being obviously a, a, a sword energy, an air sign of the mind. You're trying to rationalize whatever is going on in your life and, and approach it very, um, well, very logically. I, I think you're looking at the facts, the data, and the statistics, but it's interesting. Rather than being overwhelmed by it, it's almost like you're assessing it factually. Something about doing the, the research, gathering the data, and Perhaps this all has to do with um, you looking for a new job or you looking for new opportunities to increase your income. It's funny, sometimes this card can be an overwhelming sense of dread of emotions. For a lot of my Libras, it's not. It's actually you vibing quite high and realizing there's potential here. I just have to figure out how I want to go about it. I think some of you are at a job or in a situation where you're just not enjoying it anymore. But what's so empowering is rather than going into like this dark state of mind, you know, a dark night of the soul, the, the woe is me and life is terrible. It's the complete opposite. You're like, I'm not happy, but I'm going to use all this, all this like built up energy I have to go out and do something that I really love. I'm going to start applying it practically, logically as, as I plan or strategize my next move. It's it's very funny. It's uh, or not funny, but it's it's relieving, quite frankly. Because I'm going to be real with you, the messages for several zodiac signs have been very heavy. And while there's the potential for this combination of cards to be heavy, something about it is it's very. Um, I don't know if carefree is the right word, but you're not allowing the emotions to overcome you and cloud your judgment. Again, it's all about seeing things with clarity and not jumping to any conclusions unless there's actual data and facts and statistics to it. Some of you are absolutely researching positions. Some of you may be researching schools or going back to get a certificate or go, yeah, take an extra course or something to improve your skills, to improve your, your base of knowledge. 
and, and quite frankly, it's because you're trying to um, improve your bank account, imp improve your money flow. This is a great card for that too, because it's saying there's not just one avenue or one option or one job in which you could increase money flow. There's options here, and a lot of them look like they are uh, abundant, if that makes sense. So interesting. I love that you just got this, Libra. All right, now it's going to get interesting. Yes, I am reading for career and finances, but let's let's be honest, you just got the lust card. So Libra, who are you sleeping with? <laughs> What's next to lust? Uh, and it, yeah, it is like the card of the lovers. So it may have to do with a Gemini. You have a couple Gemini cards here. Okay, but then you have the five of pentacles. So that is almost like the complete opposite where it's like, hot and steamy and passionate and, and, you know, together couples. This is feelings of isolation and abandonment and hardship. The idea of, you know, it's always shown in the snow. Sometimes I say frozen assets, right? So hold on, let me get the message for you here because that, that's, that's interesting. Some of you are needing to leave, um, and I don't think this is permanent, I wanna be clear. You may have to leave a spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend or a significant other behind because you're being called to go take care of your family. Um, so it could be your mother or your child or something like that, especially if they are dealing with a bout of illness or struggling financially, you may be having to, to help them out and cater to them, but you're f not, not upset, but frustrated because you may have just met somebody that you're really into. You're really, you know, e excited by, and, and, you know, there's a lot of like lust and romance in the air, but it's almost like you have to segment that off. It's, it's, it's representative of one of these cups. One of these cups is full of sexual passion and desire. And if that's not currently your situation, that's probably coming in for you. But word to the wise or heads up, however you want to say it, as great as that is, and, and it does feel good, you're going to have to put that on the back burner because there's something much more serious that you have to deal with. And it, it may involve, I don't necessarily think it's you, but <clears throat> something about a shift in someone's health or their financial um financial status, financial, you, I think you know what I'm trying to say. I, I'm, I'm sort of getting you're being called to go and help someone because you are very even keeled right now. You're very even tempered. It does seem like maybe a, a few people are reaching out to you because they kind of need your, at very minimum, like your, your moral support, your, your, your friendship even. Um, again, this, this does have kind of like a family dynamic to it, but particularly anybody who's a single parent out there, you and your child may be going to help again a parent or a friend or someone like that and it does involve you kind of either moving in with them for a few days or or it might just be travel where you have to stay in a hotel for a few days and kind of help them sort out their financial issues and then i think you'll go back to you know wherever you were in the first place um but it, it's you're feeling um uh, it, it, it's like you, you want to do multiple things at once, but the universe is saying, no, focus your, focus your attention in, in one area right now so that you can kind of like not spread yourself too thin. Yeah. It, it's, it's having like a goal in mind that you can accomplish and then move on to the next thing. And yeah, it's almost like love is going to be, have to put on the back burner just for a bit, but I actually think it's beautiful. It's, it's going to be waiting for you when you get back. Once you kind of help your friend or your person out of this sort of tricky time or this hardship. <clears throat> Oops. Why is this five of pentacles coming up? Five of pentacles. Someone may have lost power or electricity in their house. And so I don't know if you're coming over to look at it or fix it or... If, I don't know, do you, if you have a, a family member or someone in your life who would be in an area where there's a lot of snow or a lot of elements, it could be that, a, it could even be that like, like a pipe broke or a rainstorm or some sort of potentially physical damage to the house. Yeah, you're, you're being called to go and assist with that. It may be for an elderly father or an elderly uncle. Why is Eight of Cups coming up? It could be a Pisces as well. Okay, per okay. so particularly if this has to do with a family, this is very oddly specific. I'm sorry, it's not for everyone. This may have to do with someone else in your life who lost somebody recently. So I'm almost getting your father, if they recently lost, if he recently lost 
his spouse or his, uh, you know, his, his wife. And it's funny, it could even be like a stepfather or a stepmother. And it doesn't even have to be death. I, I don't even want to do that because I, I really don't predict those things on my channel. That's not what I'm here to do. It could even be their cat, right? Someone who is saddened and experiencing a loss of some kind, it feels like they've been in a, a rut. A, they've been in um, a situation where there's multiple occurrences of like shitty luck or getting the short end of the stick. And that's what I mean. Again, through all this chaos and drama going on in the world, in the home, in the workplace, whatever, you are keeping your cool and people are relying on you and depending on you for your emotional support. It's like you're sort of being called to be Superman because they're calling you to be like, you know, I'm struggling with this. Can you come over and help me? And and you, again, rather than letting it overwhelm you and rather than letting all these negative thoughts sort of drown you or overpower you, you're just like, okay, yep, I'll be right over. We'll fix it. Don't worry about it. It's very... Um, it's very empowered and it's just like, yeah, it, it's a really beautiful energy. It's like you're not letting defeat or obstacles stand in your way. You're powering right through because you're like, we have good things coming in. So I'm not about to stop here. Like literally everything is fine. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll deal with it. Like I'm literally hearing you talking to someone like, don't worry about it. Like we'll figure it out. I got you. Like it's, it's very empowered, Libra. I love it. All right, Libra, digging it. So what is your challenge or focus? differences and the warrior this has to do with your love relationship <clears throat> you might be over giving in a relationship with someone who i do think they like you but i'm not sure that they're all in the way that you are um because it is presenting as lust right so sexually or or romantically there's something that i think you're very intrigued by it does feel relatively new but I would just caution you because it, it feels like one of you is putting in more effort than the other and there are differences between you that you guys haven't really discussed yet. Somebody is acting more cold and distant and it, it's because they have a history or, or emotional baggage of a lot of people that have really hurt them in the past and it's caused them to close off and not open their heart. And so this person is very on the fence with how they want to proceed. It might be a Cancer um, or a Sagittarius. Okay, so because you do, especially a Sagittarius, uh, who, yeah, and you do kind of have like the player card coming off, I'm not getting terrible energy from this. It's more just the idea of someone is definitely interested in like, uh, like the sexual aspects of a relationship, but that might be all they're looking for currently. I'm not saying that that couldn't change in the coming weeks or months, but currently they're kind of like, yeah, like, I don't know, like, maybe I'll call you in a week. Like, they're they're not committed. I'll, I'll leave it at that. There's definitely some differences that, that you guys aren't seeing eye to eye on how you want this relationship to grow. So I will say it might actually be a blessing in disguise that you're being called to go help out a friend or a parent and kind of leave this by the wayside or on, I'll say on the back burner. I think it's going to show up again, but you're being called for, I have to say, it more important things right now. So Go where the wind blows you. Go where the universe is calling you to be. Because, yeah, if, if someone else isn't making you feel like you're important in their life, you shouldn't be holding space for them in yours, if that makes sense. There is an aspect of this of being bombarded and overwhelmed by requests. So that could have to do with things happening at work as well. You do, as I, I, as I was saying, you are very empowered. You are very... Um, I don't know if pragmatic is the term, but you're able to separate what is an urgent thing versus what can wait. You're being very logical in your approach to things, but I am getting the people around you are kind of in a daze. They're kind of in panic. And so you, you kind of have to set them straight and be like, guys, listen, this is how we're going to do it. Like I see you literally like making speeches to groups of people, or this could represent multiple people in your family or your, you know, your soul tribe, your friends group really leaning on you for it's not only emotional support it's like intellectual support i heard talking somebody off a ledge that's not literal just to be very clear i i hope not but i do have to say there is someone in your life who is really sad um so so make sure as you can give them attention you know wherever you can allocate um but Talking people off a ledge, especially because of, you know, the things that media is spinning out right now, everybody or a lot of people are in a state of fear and anxiety. You somehow are able to separate fact from fiction and approach things very logically. And it almost seems like people around you need you to set them straight. 
It is coming up as your challenge or focus though because there's going to be times where you don't want to do this Libra and you're just you're exhausted by other people's bullshit and I think in a way you're not understanding why people are being so overly emotional about certain things. You may not understand it but it's almost like you are being called by a higher power to help help people regain their balance. Balance their own dark and light energies. Um, it's funny, I said this to, uh, I think it was Virgo. The name Cat might be important. Cat as in like Catherine, or maybe you're going to visit somebody who lost their cat, or, or something about a cat might be important, but it may also just be like the name, like a short for Catherine or something like that. Cat, or, or someone, I don't know, some, something like that, if, if it's not literal. Um, it may actually have to do with a Virgo. Um, or again, a Sagittarius. Anyway, universe is actually calling you to step up and it's almost like help the public, help the population, help your soul tribe. Um, particularly if you, if you have people or friends spread across distances, it, it, it might not be the worst thing for you to pick up the phone and, and be the initiator to offer some sort of clarity or guidance or peace of mind. I think so that that's what people need. You offer that to people in a way that you don't even understand. And yeah, in this time that it is a little bit chaotic, uh, other people are relying on you and it might be a bit of an imposition, but I, I think you will be glad that you did in the long term. You have creative ideas and creative solutions. So if this translates in the workplace too, people are going to be looking to you for your creative solutions to get out of tricky times, uh, even financially. It's almost like when there's chaos, right? The eight of wands, it's usually the representing like the um, arrows shooting off of the archers, you know, like bow and arrow type thing. Here it's like a clusterfuck, right? Like they're all over the place. They're, they're swirling around everywhere. There's something about you being called in because you are very strong, because you are keeping your feet on the ground and approaching things with logic, um, with practicality, but also wand energy with passion and enthusiasm and excitement and like warmth, fire signs, right? A higher vibrational energy. You're being called to like set people straight. To, in, a, in a very gentle way, you're like, guys, we gotta get our shit together. Like there's very much an element to this of you being uh, the leader, um, the one who, who gets people to congregate together and sets them straight, gets everybody on the same page, fixes things that have, have gone to shit or gone in disarray. You're restoring the order and the balance of the group. My scales, my Libras out there, right? <clears throat> yeah, for a lot of you, the answer may involve travel or movement. Um, and you, again, that's a, a little bit vague, but I think you'll know what that means. Um, some of you literally have to go take care of some travel plans again with a family member or, or a friend who's, who's really going through it. They may have just been through a divorce or I want to say a loss of some kind. You may get some sort of important epiphany on that trip that you can bring back. And I'm not sure exactly how that idea is going to translate, but it's some sort of uh, uh, something you can implement in, in the way you're doing your business. I, I don't know if it's a, an idea about travel plans, but you have journey, move and dive. Uh, an exit strategy, a, a way to um, promote growth and forward movement and, and travel, journeying. Um, I, I don't know if you work in a company that is all about transportation or um, yeah, something like flights or ships or um, yeah, like um, Something about merchandise going overseas. I, I don't really know what that is, but I heard efficiency expert. And if that's not literal, that's sort of what people look to you uh, uh, to contribute to the team. You're very efficient. You're very logical. You're very practical right now. Your strength is not letting other people spin you out into like crazy town because yeah, there's, there's a lot of energy and chaos surrounding where you work. And so be the strength of the group. Be, you know, be the warrior, essentially, right? You have that card coming up sort of twice. It's Leo energy, so pouncing on opportunity the way a lion does, not being uh, overwhelmed or bombarded by all these obstacles coming at you. Again, something about, it's like, while there's lots of options or, or lots of things coming in, 
handle it one at a time so that you can like check it off your list and then move on to the next. Don't get caught up in all the chaos and the drama. Keep approaching things logically and also do it with flair. Do it with fun. Do it, do it with style, right? <clears throat> so what is the help available to my Libras? Interesting. Love, 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 love. Loving yourself first. Make sure you're not settling. It's almost like you guys need an outlet to just like let your hair down because I am getting that you're very stressed out at work. And it's not that you're doing work that you don't love or that you don't like. It's just the people around you. It feels like you're surrounded by children. And maybe some of you are, right? Maybe you're a mom and you have four little kids in the house or, you know, some, something happened where you're, you're having to take in the neighbor's kids or your best friend's kids or, or it could be adults who are just really immature. It's almost like you guys need an outlet to like relax and let your hair down. And I think that's where that comes in. There is this idea of like, I, like it's just like a very like hot, passionate sexual relationship. But, and that's cool and that's great if that's sort of like your, it's like a, a, an outlet of release, right? But if you're looking for the long term with that person, at minimum, I would try and have a conversation about it if you're serious because there is... Yeah, there is something about this person, especially if it's a cancer, being at a crossroads where they're not really sure where to go next with this. The sex is good and they like you and when you're together, it's great. But in terms of like, hey, do you want to move in together? That might send a red flag up for both of you of like, oh, wait, what? I thought we were just... So it, it's going to go different ways for a few of you. But yeah, I'm not sure about the stability of that relationship. So if you are at all worried about that or questioning it with your person, I would bring that up sooner than later to save yourself major heartbreak um, in the future. Yeah, some of you have a Capricorn coming into your life that is going to offer you a fresh cup of love. Um, so a new, new dating opportunities, uh, particularly in the arena of love. It could also have to do with... Um, Someone who's involved in some sort of uh, spirituality, like a spiritual group, a church group, or even someone who does healing of, like, uh, of the body, someone who does meditation or uh, massage or Reiki or crystal therapy or some, something like that. Um, that is going to help, uh, I do want to say, cushion the blow of a relationship that maybe gets kind of out of whack in, in, once we get into Aries season, uh, which is going to be late March into early April. But do keep in mind that uh, this relationship, whether it works out or not, it's actually opening you up to new possibilities. With the world card coming through, it's the completion of a major cycle. And the way she's kind of standing in, in the middle of this circle, it's like she's being birthed into the world again. There's a new opportunity and she's naked, right? She's vulnerable. She's learned a lot of lessons. But with this, it's almost a card of graduation. You've been through some major obstacles and shit, but you've restored balance and peace and harmony. I will say among the group. The four fixed zodiac signs are always here, so Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, if that means anything to you. You come out as like the champion, the one who led the group, the one who, who carried the torch, the trailblazer of sorts. And same, the same goes for you. After that, you're at a crossroads too of where you want to go. Some of you are actually going to choose to go to a new business where you feel like... Um, you're just more passionate about the subject matter. It's almost like you help save the team. And then once you're able to check that box off as I, I've accomplished something, it does actually seem like you're going to move away from it. And I think it's all on your own accord. I think it's all by your own doing. I think you, you decide, yeah, this, this actually isn't bringing me the joy it used to. You do have eight of cups coming up in your energy. And so it's like, it's on to bigger and better things. You're going towards a career now that you love. Not something that you just like or something that you settled for or something that it's a pain in your side. It's a thorn in your side every other week and working with this chaotic group of people. I think you get through the brunt of the work. You carry most, most of like the heavy weight of the project or, or whatever it is. But then some sort of cycle I do think in airy seasons opens up and it's like, I have an opportunity to go in a new direction uh, towards something I love where, yeah, there's just more freedom in this job. It may uh, give you more work from home opportunities or more travel opportunities or more time to spend with your kids. It's like the cup runneth over and cups can sometimes also indicate money flow in a tarot spread. If money is a currency, it's an energy. This new opportunity may pay you better and I think your heart is more in alignment with it. Um, but for some of you, the deal breaker on that might be that it does involve a lot of travel and, and some of you might not be totally ready for that. So 
<clears throat> but the help available to you is closing out a cycle, recognizing what you don't need anymore so that you can essentially drop that weight and move forward with peace and clarity and harmony. So final advice or guidance from my Libra. Ooh, you just got the wheel of fortune. Yeah. Blessings are trying to come into you. It is fortuitous. It's good luck. It's destiny. It's a changing up of the cycles. It's that wheel that progresses us forward. Again, travel too for a lot of you. Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. Beautiful. So knights are great. They always bring change and movement into our life. Uh, this is like kind of um, my hopeless romantic night. It's a card of water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it's movement towards something we love, something that calls out to our heart. Something about this feels like a risk, but it, with this, it's really beautiful because even if you trip up and fall, even if you have to make a, mu a few mistakes to learn the process, what's going to catch you here if you metaphorically fall is water, is love. It's almost like it, you're, if you're moving on to a new new a uh, job or a new team, the people there are going to emotionally help lift you up. The way that you're doing for all these people, you almost seem like the mom of the group where you're constantly catering to people who are just like, uh, uh, like deer in headlights. Like, what do we do, Libra? What do we do? It feels like that's constantly what you're having to deal with. This new opportunity, other people are going to, to be able to uh, like, help you when you're having a moment of, of anxiety or, or crisis or this or that. It, it seems like this would be a better opportunity where there's more of a, a cushion, someone to help catch you when you fall. That may also be representing a, a someone new in your life who's bringing a love offer, particularly another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because you also have this. You guys are like meeting in the middle. Um, so it, it could also be a water sign too, for that matter. It's like the air sign and the water sign are meeting, or if it's representing, um, you, uh, applying to jobs, there's movement towards jobs that you love and that satisfy you intellectually. It feels like you're there for a purpose, for a reason, for a cause. Uh, I'm so sorry, Libra, my camera froze there. Yeah. Something about the written word here with swords is very important. If you're an advocate or, a, uh, for, for some, you know, some, some cause that you're trying to be very, um, vocal about, or if you're a writer, if you write for a newspaper or you have a blog or a website, something about getting your word out there to help promote love and inclusivity. Um, or yeah, in, yeah, not exclusive, inclusive, in, inclusion of people. Um, yeah, you may, this could also indicate a collaboration uh, business-wise, a business partnership, again, possibly with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's like divinely guided. Uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's written in the stars. These two were meant to come together and, and create something really beautiful. And then you have the card of honesty come out, but it's in reverse. Something about this flame, the idea of a twin flame, you, you meeting someone for a reason, but it's not necessarily your long-term person. This is someone you are going to learn valuable lessons from, but especially if they don't return your text or you're ha trying to have text conversation with them, but they're giving you like one word answers back or, or you're like, oh, how's your day? How's this? How's that? And they're just like, good, but they don't ever ask you anything. There's something about be really honest with yourself is, is, the warmth that they provided you, and I think that is like an, a, a, a sort of saying like the sexual warmth, like the sexual chemistry, that was good, but it's such a small flame, it's going to burn out. And because it's coming out in reverse, it's saying, are you being honest with yourself? And actually, I, I, I again, I don't like to do fear-based readings. You may actually learn that this person had a lot of options and that they weren't totally honest with you about that. Again, there's there's a muddled message here in that there's there's multiple people. I, I have to say that. I keep wanting to be drawn to say Capricorn and Sagittarius and Cancer. Um, I don't know if any of those, those people play a, a key role in your life. But yeah, I, with Eight of Cups, at one point in time, it's emotionally fulfilling, but you decide to go after something even greater. The Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment. You're going to meet someone and they're going to offer you some sort of uh, relationship or, or even just like a flirting dynamic. You might sleep with them, whatever. What does this have to do with the career and finances? I know. I don't really know either, but it's showing up in your, your spread here. So maybe it's someone you met at work. Um, maybe it's someone who helps you get a job. Needless to say, you met this person for a reason, but I think you're going to choose to walk away because ultimately it ends in a way that you're just like, eh. Like, I'm not into this. Like, you know, I deserve to be treated better. And absolutely you do, right? The way that you take care of all your people, like how I was saying, you're like the mom or the dad of, of the workplace. 
Equally, you need to find someone that takes care of you, that offers you cups of love back. Like you can't pour from an empty cup. You need to be with someone who's constantly um, in a good way cheering you on, right? Making you feel loved, you know, cooking you dinner when you come home for a long, from a long day at work. Make sure you're not settling in love. Making, make sure you're shooting for the stars in terms of looking for someone who will check all the boxes. And I love that I'm phrasing it like that, that kind of came through again, because that's what you're doing in your life, Libra. There needs to be balance and reciprocity in the long-term love relationships that you want in your life. And I just keep wanting to say, be honest with yourself. Uh, the two and the six make an eight. Again, eight of cups. Don't settle emotionally, even for a job, right? If you're in a job, it's like, well, it pays the bills, but it's kind of a hassle, but it's all I've ever known. Like now is the time to break free from the comfort zone with, with everything that's going on. I've been getting that message like, you know, a hit over the head with the idea of it, we're leaving the comfort zone. Everything we know to be true is being shaken up, right? So why not take some sort of risk or or some sort of calling that you've always felt like you were meant to go in that direction towards new love, new job, new opportunities for money? Yeah, this is sort of saying, yeah, why don't we start making that choice, approaching it one by one, right? You don't have to change your life in the course of a day or a week, but make practical steps to go after what it is that you truly love. And, and you, Libra, will always do it in a way that is well-informed, right? You're not super impulsive. You approach things cautiously, rationally, right? And so that's good. But yeah, your, your, your cup is going to be filled by the right person. So make sure you're not settling or holding on to old people that just aren't serving you anymore. Major completions of cycles that's going to welcome in love and abundance. And maybe it's romantic love or maybe it has to do with the workplace. But either way, you have some really beautiful cards coming up. All right, let's throw something on this for my Libras. This looks like Jane Fonda, doesn't it? I love this card. I think it's so cool. And it's actually like very Libra the way she's dressed. Libras are always very well put together. I love that. I love that card. Yeah, you have a fire sign in your life that just doesn't know their ass from their elbow. And I say that with love because it could even be your child. Your child could just be really struggling in school and always in trouble. And like they have a good heart, but it's like even more chaos and anarchy. Like once you get home from work and you're done with those people, you come home and you're just like, guys, really? You're killing me. Like you didn't clean your room or you didn't do the dishes or you're supposed to start dinner. It's that type of like... Libra, you just need like a, a spa day or someone to give you a massage and take care of you because it feels like you're taking care of everybody but yourself. Start with yourself. The Ace of Cups start with, starts with us. You know, self-care, honoring yourself, self-love. That's, that's very much coming through here. You should be at the center of your world, right? Some of you want to pursue a career in dance. That, that just came through, dance or music. You should. That would be a good fit for you, even if it's not your main income. On weekends, it would actually be like a welcomed relief to do something for your body, even if it's just fitness and exercise. Um, again, it's a way to like um, release um, the stress that, that you're carrying around with you internally. You kind of need to get that up and out to the surface and like release. Do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. I'm going to pull a couple more. The symbol of an owl might be important to some of you, the wise old owl. That actually seems very Libra-esque, but you may have a tattoo of an owl or something about on a journal or a book cover or a sticker on a, like a bumper sticker on your car. Something about an owl might be important. Oneness is my true nature. That makes me think of painting, like watercolor painting. I don't know if any of you are painters or you do that for fun. That could be a nice little release of energy. Some creative, uh, creative creations there. One more card for Libra. For Libra, what else does Libra need to know? I just heard irreconcilable, irreconcil I can't even say it, differences. Irreconcilable differences, yeah. Some of you maybe, I don't even think it's divorce because I don't think you were married to this person, most of you. But some of you are, yeah, you're cutting off somebody who just, they, they, their head wasn't in the right place. They were very immature. They may have been a musician as well. Uh, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Libra, that's such a good card for you. I love it. All right, guys. So, uh, Pisces might be coming into your life soon that's going to offer you happiness or possibly a, um, a, uh, a job opportunity. That is what I got for you, beautiful Libras. Please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if any of this resonates for you, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye.